Good morning, y'all, and welcome to my channel. For those of you that have not yet seen my first video, I'm Kayla. I teach fifth grade science and social studies in Georgia, and this is part two of classroom setup. Got a pretty busy day today. We have convocation as a district today, and it's in about 45 minutes or so. Um, and then I get time to work in my room, and my sweet hubby's coming this afternoon to help me in here. And I'm really excited about that. Um, but I do need to go sign in and check my mailbox and all those good things. Get the day started, and I'll see you guys in a little while. All right, so we just got back from convocation. It was a nice little opening for the school year with the entire district. Um, but I wanted to show you some things that I have done in my classroom since the last time uh, that I talked to you guys. So let me get you guys flipped around and I'll show you. So I did get my little supply caddies done. Um, since my whole room is like magic and Harry Potter inspired and themed, my tables or groups are named after all magical creatures um and so this little guy is my favorite i love nifflers but so i have put in here a um some hand sanitizer and then we have pens and highlighters this is where they can put their pencils we can put crayons and markers here um for the students to use so that is what my little team supply caddies look like and these i just made them in powerpoint and um did four i did them full page slides but then I, when i went to print it i did four to a page and so it's front and back um i literally just printed two copies and cut them up and then taped them and laminated them and then i put them in a little small binder clip and took the little silver little prong off and hot glued it down here so that way it would stay and almost be like a little little sign there so that way the kids know what a niffler is all right so the next thing that i wanted to show you guys that i did excuse my room it is still a mess is i did get my birthday wall finished which i am so excited about um all of these have these students their names and their birthdays and then the class birthday sign I made on my silhouette, uh, just using cardstock. And so I uh, topped it out in the silhouette software and then I uh, did an offset so that way there could be a, you can see it a little bit better, little outline almost. So I did the back in like a black glitter cardstock and then the top in a, like a brick wall print cardstock. And then I just found this picture of Hagrid on Google. Print him, cut him, laminated him. And all of the birthdays for students, like that's the one for, my, for me, looks like the birthday cake that Hagrid gives Harry um, on his 11th birthday. So I'm kind of obsessed with how this is looking. For a while, I just had a little piece of paper over on um, my daily profit board that had class birthdays on it but I like this so much better okay so had to put the camera down been a little bit busy with meetings and lunch and uh, just getting things done in here uh, but I did want to show you guys one thing that I did get done that I'm super proud of so these I started doing these things um, a couple years ago and they're called sub tickets. So basically what it is, is I leave eight sub tickets um, for each segment of my day. So I have homeroom and then my three rotations of science and social studies. Um, and so what this is, is when I have to be out, um, whether it be for a personal day or professional leave or whatever, I leave these with the sub and the sub gets to give these out at their discretion. And um, they give them to students that are just showing just remarkable behavior that are amazing and helpful and super respectful, just being great students. And, um, and then when I return, the students give them to me and I give them, usually I usually give them like a piece of candy or 
you know, extra dojo points, something along those lines. But I started doing this a couple years ago after I had a class that did not do really well with subs. And so I tried to find a way to um, motivate my students to want to do better with subs. And so I did started doing these and it's worked like a charm. So I highly recommend these. And I just, I literally just like right on there. Um, I'm sure you can see just says sub ticket and then just like a little blurb. Um, and I usually put what segment it is to um, see if we can get, if we can get it to focus. Um, but I put what segment it is to and I color code as well. So that way I know. All the blue ones are homeroom, green ones are first period, and so on and so forth. Um, but it just says on there, thanks for doing an awesome job while Mrs. Mathis was away. Turn this in uh, to Mrs. Mathis during, you know, during class tomorrow to get a prize. And fifth graders will do just about anything for a sub ticket. So if that means that they're going to be exceptional and just be very well behaved while a sub is here, and that makes my life a whole lot easier and it's totally worth it. So I literally just made this on PowerPoint and um, printed it on just regular copy paper and then ran it again through um, the printer on colored cardstock and laminated it with my little Scotch laminator that I have and cut them out. So I love these. Um, I highly recommend these. It's just a great behavior management tool that I use for substitutes. Another thing that I worked on this um, today are these little punch cards. Let's see if I can let's see if I can get it to focus on it. There we go. And so basically what I'm going to be using these for is just an extra layer of behavior management. Um, and so I'm going to let the kid choose what they can earn and they'll just write their reward right here and when they get 10 punches in their punch card they will be able to redeem it for that reward um now granted there is going to be a little bit of guidance on what they can choose from because you don't want to give them too much freedom um but it needs to be a reward that is reasonable and it makes sense, and it's something that can be easily done um, during the school day. Um, but just anytime they are caught doing something good, whether it be helping a friend, being kind, being respectful, you know, saying yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir, uh, please and thank you, holding the door open for a staff member, any kind of good behavior, I want to make sure that I recognize that um, and encourage them to keep repeating those good behaviors. So I want to be using these punch cards again, not again, this is the first year I want to be using these. Um, but I'm excited to use these and see how they work out. Um, it might be a complete flop and it might be a complete success. Um, you don't know until you try. And so I'm ready to try. There was one more thing. I'm looking around my room to see if I have it directly with me. And I don't think I do. Um, so I am, oh, let me take you to show you my other behavior management system that I use in here while I'm talking about behavior management. And then I'm going to show you um, how I put the data up on my board. So let's get moving. All right, so this is my other uh, behavior management that I use. I do house points, especially since, again, you can tell everything is very Harry Potter in here. Um, so at the beginning of the year, I sort all of the fifth graders into their Hogwarts houses and I even do kids that aren't even in my homeroom. I do my, um, segments too. And so they work together as a whole to earn points for their houses. And we do the house cup once a quarter. And so whichever house wins the house cup, I let them choose what their prize might be, whether it be their favorite soda, their favorite candy bar, or their favorite small bag of chips. Um, something along those lines. This year, I think I might add in a fun experiment to do with just me during lunch. 
thing that might that might be a cool thing to add but again i let students choose what their reward is um but kids i don't do it like you know my homeroom is gryffindor another homeroom is ravenclaw another one is hufflepuff i don't do it that way i truly sort the kids and if we have 14 hufflepuffs in the whole grade level and only like three slytherins which honestly that is very realistic um then that's how it is. And so in one class, I'm, I'll have a mixture of all four houses and they love doing this and they can earn house points, but they can also lose house points. So I'm actually going to take you guys to a chart that I made with my first group of fifth graders about ways to earn and lose house points. So, yeah. So here's our house cup rules. Again, like I said, I made this with my first group of fifth graders. Um, now, this is my ninth year teaching, but it's my fifth year teaching fifth grade. And I keep this over here by my door. It's on my daily profit board, which is kind of like my information center. So I also keep a numerical running total of house points here as well. Um, I put quotes um, from Harry Potter here, and most of them are all from Dumbledore. So I titled it Advice from Albus. This is how I used to do birthdays, so I need to take this down. And then I will put class jobs here once uh, kids apply for them because I have them apply for their jobs at the beginning of the year. Um, but this is what I use for earning and losing house points. And again, you can just kind of see these were all suggestions that my class recommended. So this is all from the viewpoint of a fifth grader. They came up with the actual like task and how many points it could be worth. Um, and so as you can see, you know, being respectful and having good manners those and showing integrity, those are pretty big deals in here. And like dishonesty and bullying, those aren't really, those aren't tolerated at all. And so this is something that I keep up and I pointed out to students um, at the beginning of the school year. And I tell them that this was made by fifth graders. And so maybe it'll mean a little bit more to them. Really? Okay, so here's how I'm doing my date this year. I've seen a lot of people use the magnetic curtain rods to do their date and just hang it up there with binder rings. But unfortunately, my whiteboard is not very magnetic. It has to be a super strong magnet. So what I did is I just kind of modified it for my room. And instead of using a magnetic uh, curtain rod, or even just putting magnets on the back of these papers, which I tried to do and failed miserably. I just use sticky clips. Um, if you don't know what sticky clips are, they're basically like these little clips that have wax on the back and they stick to any surface. They are fantastic. I love them. I use them for just about everything. That and marvelous tape. Oh my gosh, marvelous tape is marvelous. <laughs> um, but this is how I'm doing the date this year. I figured it would be easier to do it this way instead of writing it with an expo marker. And so that way I can actually have a student help me with this and would help me out a lot because honestly, I forget to change the date so often and hope I'm hoping this will hold me a little bit accountable and help me to remember to change it as well. All right, so I did was able to get a couple things more done in my classroom before I head out for the day. And the first one is right here. Um, I'm actually gonna turn you guys around and let you see it a little bit better. So this is, my magic of growth mindset. So what it is, is it is growth mindset tied to Harry Potter quotes that matches. And I thought it's just really cool. I really try to um, focus a lot on growth mindset um, just to help kids like, you know, value their learning and know that they are capable of anything. And we actually always start off the year going through um, growth mindset and focusing a lot on the power of yet. So the second thing that I got done is we're going to go over here to my lockers. I put up with just a little strip of it's tape, but it's magnets. It's like a magnetic tape. It's really cool. Um, my 15 class expectations. Now these are adapted from the essential 55. Um, and so I have these up in my room at all times and I remind students of them constantly. 
Um, and I'm even giving students a copy of them to keep in their notebooks. Um, so that way they always have them available to them and they know what's expected of them always. So that's it for today. I am going to head out. It's time to go home. I'm tired and I'm ready to eat dinner. Uh, it's been a little while since I've eaten lunch, so I'm a little hungry. But if you'll go ahead and click that like button and click subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. And don't forget to ring that bell so you can get notified when I post a new video. If you have any comments, comment them down below in the comment section. Any questions you might have, or if you want to know where I got something or how I made something, again, just add that to the comment section. I am so glad you guys tuned in for yet another classroom setup video. And I will see you guys next time. Mischief Managed.